Is, is Scott here? Is Scott Harrison here? Christopher Salmond? Is Christopher Salmond here? Mr. Deputy, may I make a correction to my listing on the deputation list? What, what's your name? My name is Christopher Salmon. Good. I have been listed as Chief Director of the Toronto School Crossing Guard Association. Please note the President and Chief Executive Officer of the Association is Mona Piper, who is right there. Good. She has been a crossing guard for 35 years plus. Pardon? I am an active member of the association. Tell us who he is. Pardon? All right, go ahead, sir. Mr. Deputy Mayor, councillors, committee members, staff, ladies and gentlemen, my history is 50 plus years in community volunteer service and work in the public service. I have worked for all three levels of government at various ministries, departments, and agencies. I am not one of the usual suspects to quote some councillors, <laughs> nor a social whiner to quote some media personalities. In the past, I have attended municipal council and committee meetings on behalf of local businesses, my own business, various community organizations, and property owners. Yes, I do have a vested interest since I am a school crossing guard and a member of the Toronto School Crossing Guard Association. I am here at the request of parents of my students and neighbors to express their concerns if the school crossing guards are dropped from the Toronto Police Service. Among their concerns are the volume of traffic and driver's habits. At my old post, I had two-way traffic and 300 to 325 students crossing. At my current post, has four-way traffic with 70 to 80 students crossing and two or three emergency runs through to Toronto East General Hospital each day. The volume of traffic has increased by 400% over the past six years when I started at this post. There were three to five red light runners a week. Currently, there are eight to 10 a day sometimes as high as 20. I am known as the local whistleblower due to my constant use of my whistle. 50% of the drivers use an electri electronic device. Speeding is another problem. Traffic services sends an officer within a day or two when I report a particularly bad day to my coordinator. Toronto Services radar unit is set up near my post once or twice a week. I have noticed when a police officer covers the post two locations south, uh, he turns the lights okay, on sir, thank and you. You've sl reached it slows your traffic. Uh, we do have some questions for you though. Councillor Davis and Councillor Fletcher. Uh, thank you, Chris. Um, you certainly scare the hell out of me at that corner. <laughs> you do a great job uh, keeping people from jaywalking. Um, that is a very busy intersection, and I know you and many others around this city are doing a tremendous job protecting our children. Um, do you know how much a crossing guard starts at? Uh, just around $11. I think it's 10.25. All right. Something like that. There's uh, four percent uh, wages, four or four percent holiday pay, four percent statutory pay, and we have a 12 percent expense allowance. 
So if you were transferred, contracted out, whatever, uh, you probably couldn't be paid much less. Uh, the last time they looked at doing that, it was the Toronto Police Board. Uh, I was getting $9, and okay, the for, people uh, that take it over were going to ch charge $7. Okay, thank you. The next question comes from uh, Councillor Fletcher. Yes, can you tell us, I'm over here, Chris, I'm over, over Wait, here. Uh, sir, that this way. side over, over here. here. But uh, the hours that you work, they're pretty standard before uh, school starts and lunch and then, can you give us the times, please? Uh, we work anywhere from half an hour to an hour and 15 minutes before school, uh, an hour and a half to two and a quarter hours to cover the lunch hour, uh, an hour, uh, half an hour. 45 minutes to an hour and a quarter after school, depending on the requirements of our post. And it, uh, earlier I had understood there was going to be a 15 minute or a half an hour taken off different parts of the day instead of eliminating this position altogether. Do you uh, think that that would affect your ability to cross children safely if there was less time during the day or during your crossing times? <laughs> okay, the minute is yes. up. You can, thank you. Yes, yes, it would. That's what we thank need. You. Okay, the next questioner is uh, Councillor Doucette, followed by Councillor Vaughan on thank, this side. Thank you very much for coming this evening. In my area, my crossing guards are treasured, valued. The children love them because they know they can trust them. If they're in trouble, they can go to a crossing guard. Um, as you say, there's lots of cars which don't stop at lights. What do you think is going to happen if we don't have crossing guards to protect our children? You're going to end up having more children involved in accidents. We've lost, since I've been a crossing guard, which is about 10 years, I understand that uh, two or three have been killed on, the, on duty. In all three instances, it is my understanding they were pushing children out of, students out of the way of danger. So crossing oh, yeah. guards do put their lives on the line, in the line of traffic to protect the children. So if the traffic, tra crossing guard isn't there, we're going to have accidents okay. with young children, aren't we? Yes, and I know police constables that refuse to do a crossing guard position. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Councillor Vaughan. Is helping kids cross the street safely nice to have or a must have? <laughs> On behalf of my colleague, Councillor Davis. As a crossing guard, from the kid's point of view, it's nice to have. As a crossing guard from the crossing guard's position, it is necessary, and I wish at times my traffic sergeant would give me an RPG. And then they would definitely stop running my crossing. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank, thank you very much. Uh, that, 